Hello guys, got a quick Stories 2 video for you today. I thought I'd share with you how I hit the damage cap on a single hit. This came after about a week of trying to hit the biggest number I could on a Monsty. So far, nothing really insane. I think I hit forever 6k with my Stygian Zenoga. Bearing in mind, neither me or my Monsties are level capped, so we're still missing 9 levels worth of damage. Uh, my focus quickly shifted to how big a number I could hit with my Rider. Now, I already knew in advance that Hammer would be the key to hitting the biggest number possible the problem was i was dead set on trying to do it with greatsword not even because of the greatsword itself but because i'm totally in love with the hunting horn this specific hunting horn the ruby basarios fleeting gunrock not only does it look absolutely sick but it does sleep and it has the song awakening that increases attack defense and crit rate for five turns for all allies which as you can imagine is absolutely sick and as much as i love this weapon and it is really great i wasn't really getting very far with the greatsword and decided to switch to the hammer and within 20 20 minutes of testing I managed to land the hit that reached the damage cap of 9999 uh, and I'm going to show you all of the mechanic modifiers that went into allowing that to happen. So for our rider we have the maxed out Grimclaw Tigrex Hammer, Bloodbath Armor which is giving us non-element attack boost XL, my charm that has both heroics XL and salt in the wound XL uh, which are both quite important for this and those together are seriously boosting our attack under 50% HP and substantially increasing damage done to enemies with abnormal status. So in line with that we need a monster that can apply abnormal statuses and not just any abnormal status ideally something that's going to have its own damage modifier built into it such as bleed. So I'm using my bloodbath Diablos which has the vacuum blast skill inherited onto it from silverwind nagakuga. You could of course also use the thousand blades gene from Seregios. The only consumable item we're going to use for this is the super whetstone which will increase attack and crit rate but really the attack is all we need. You could also eat muscle meat but this is going to conflict with the heroic skill as this will heal us and we don't want that. Next we're going to need the right monster to play the perfect role in allowing all this to happen. So my chosen target is Doranboros in stage 1 of the special Elder's Lair and this is for several reasons. Firstly Doranboros is tanky enough that I'm going to be able to build all of my modifiers needed for this to work before killing it but it's also not so strong that it's going to kill me whilst I'm testing and stacking all of these buffs needed. Also Doranboros has two type cycles of power and technical which is ideal for what we're using against it. You know if you were going to try this against something like Nogigante for example Nogigante has counter mechanics built into his attacks where he will hit you twice in one turn which is very bad because when you win a head to head you can be taken all the way down to 1 HP which would be fine in any other situation but Nog will follow up with a second hit that will cause you to faint and then you'll lose all of your hammer charge and buffs. Also you definitely don't want to bring a companion with you because you're going to need full control over who is hitting what and when and you need the target to be aiming directly at you or your monster every time so you can guarantee the hammer charge on the head to head wins. The next aspect is in relation to knowing what to hit and when so first of all on certain part breaks you will knock the target down other parts are weaker than others in terms of how much damage they take and this is irrelevant to weapon type so for example on Doran Boros even though the tail and chest are both weak to hammer the chest will take far more damage so the key here is to leave the legs till last so we can break them for the knockdown when we're ready and we're going to focus on the tail until we've built up level 2 or 3 charges on the hammer depending on RNG and then we're going to spend that on the targeted chest for the biggest damage possible. But before that, once we're ready to knock down, we're going to consume a super whetstone. We're also going to want to apply bleed onto the monster while simultaneously breaking the legs for that knockdown. We need bleed to already be applied before we land that big hammer blow. And because the leg break should happen in one successful head-to-head -head win with Doran Boros whilst aiming at the legs, uh, it's best to time your monster's bleed attack with that head-to-head -head challenge on the legs when going for the leg break. Now this next part is the only part I'm not clear on. There are other various damage modifiers that go into this relating to both enrage and knockdown. What we do know is that Enrage has a damage modifier and we do know that Knockdown has a built-in auto crit. What I don't know is if there's a significant damage modifier on the Knockdown. You know, does it take dramatically more damage if it's knocked down or does it just give you the free crit? And in regard to the Enrage, we know that knocking down a monster kicks the monster out of Enrage. But does the Enrage modifier carry over during the Knockdown phase? Even though you can clearly see when it's knocked down that it's no longer Enraged. Which I understand is very confusing but I only bring this up because previously I did everything exactly the same as this 
before, but the target wasn't knocked down, and I only hit for like 6k. When I hit the big number, it was all exactly the same, but following an enrage and with the monster knocked down. So there's a little bit of uncertainty there, but clearly the monster being knocked down after being enraged has had some sort of influence on reaching this amount of damage. So anyway, with our level 3 hammer charge, our super whetstone, bleed applied, we're now going to land a spinning meteor on the knockdown Doran Boros and hit the damage cap of 9999. And there you go, I'm currently waiting for the content update on the 5th, in the meantime I might drop another video before then, maybe my Stygian Zenoga build if anyone would be interested in that. For now if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Monster Hunter Stories 2 content coming soon. Okay guys, until next time, take care.